Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 8, 2018. Today we will see videos of many unusual things in the sky from unedited photos obtained yesterday from the Federal Aviation Weather Cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. All videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. Our first video shows the sun traveling across the sky in time-lapse mode. All of a sudden it goes behind a tiny object, a small street lamp, and it completely disappears. It takes an IQ of at least 80 to know why this cannot be the real sun. Even at 93 million miles away, our real sun is still relatively too large to be hidden by a small object like this at this distance from the viewing eye. Here is how our real sun behaves when passing over a post even wider than the diameter of the street light we just viewed. The reason that the sun disappears behind a tiny object is because this is not the sun. This is the flashlight sun or sun simulator, which is a very intense light source installed between the earth and the sun much closer to the earth. During an eclipse, a planet passes in front of our real sun, but behind the flashlight sun, so that it's not obvious an eclipse is occurring. We'll see this in action in a moment. During most eclipses, but not all, a black dot is visible in the center of the flashlight sun, such as in this photo taken yesterday from the south-facing weather cam in Talkeetan, Alaska. Notice the faint image of a very large planet at the 7 o'clock position. There are actually three planets, very large, traveling together. People have been monitoring these three planets for a couple years now, and they are getting noticeably closer and larger. Only in one of the contrast enhanced photos is it obvious that there are three distinct planets because they are so transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. The black dot that you see in these images is only black during an eclipse or a near eclipse. It is installed in the center of the flashlight sun. The black dot reflects upon water surfaces, proving it is not a camera anomaly, as viewed in this weather cam photo from Myerschuk, Alaska, on March 5th. But this same black dot reflection can be viewed from many different weather cams in Alaska and Canada. Once again, we see this fast rotating red crater pocked planet rolling across the sky. This can be viewed from many different weather cams all over Alaska and Canada. This video was viewed from the south facing weather cam in Seward, Alaska. Odd shaped reflections of the eclipse concealment jet swing into view from the bottom right corner of the screen and maintain a perfect alignment with the eclipsing planet or the near eclipsing planet and the black dot in the center of the flashlight sun. For This is done for optimum concealment. Most of the time the concealment works but not always. Once again, the northwest facing camera in Tok, Alaska captured this huge spinning striped planet. It is very transparent from the atmospheric chemicals. After a few frames, the red planet emerges from transparency and becomes visible for a short time before disappearing again into transparency. Last night, the setting sun emitted a column of light viewed from the west-facing weather cam in Galkana, Alaska. Over the past year, many people have reported seeing this column of light and have photographed it. A heavily chemtrailed horizon pre prevents us from seeing what is really going on here. And a few more frames of that red planet again, viewed from Chakietsik, Alaska, yesterday evening, shortly before sunset. Part of a red planet is visible in the upper right corner of this screen. With the contrast enhanced, some stripes are now visible. This gigantic image of the flashlight sun can be seen from many different weather cams. When the sun looks this enormous, an eclipse is occurring. This setting sun video was captured by the southwest facing camera located in Toksuk Bay, Alaska. 
These next three pictures of the flashlight sun show that the black dot may be having some trouble. We know that it was like this for at least 20 minutes because each frame is 10 minutes. This picture was taken at 2.30 in the afternoon, local Alaskan time, and it appears to have worsened by 5 p.m. in these two photos. Yesterday, we saw this same gigantic object near the sun as it was setting. Here, it is being blurred by technology just as it was yesterday. Some contrast enhancement makes it more visible. These planets are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.